Good morning, this is TCR, TroyCommunityRadio.com. I'm Clint Myers on 107.1 WTJN for David DeNoyer on TCTV. Starting off the 9 o'clock hour, I'm sitting with John Wilson from Main Street. And uh, always good things happening here in downtown Troy, John. Yes, uh, always good things, a lot of them too. Uh, now let's talk about, and now we're going to go back a week and talk about Mad River Railroad because we kind of had... Uh, wet weather the uh, Friday before. Hey, Mother Nature dealt us uh, some lemons on Friday night, that's for sure. But you made some lemonade out of it. We did make some lemonade out of it. Uh, I'm not sure the listeners understand, but uh, we, we want to have the concerts on the square. The people want to have the concerts out on Prouty, and, and we'll do everything we can to get them out there. But once we make a, a call to set up the sound equipment, we're pretty much stuck with that call. And uh, what happened was the sound equipment was set up, and then we got some rain. Yeah, we thought we saw a window in there and it rained and rained and rained, but uh, people came out, they wanted to see Mad River Railroad, and uh, Mad River Railroad wanted to play. And you made that happen with the help of uh, the Elks. Yeah, the Troy Elks. We were up there on stage, we were looking out at the people with their umbrellas, <laughs> waiting on the rain to stop, and the Mad River Railroad offered to play acoustically if we had a place for them, and I knew the Elks was over there and the Elks had offered as an alternative location. And that's what a community is about. I mean, immediately they were able to jump in and help, uh, and and their members and hey, officers. Hey, I went over there and asked one of the officers uh, if it, it was still available. They said absolutely. Uh, they were having their fantastic Friday night meal and so forth. I went through the ballroom, and it was not ready to have a concert. However, by the time I came up to Prouty Plaza and sent everybody over to the Elks, by the time I got back, it was set up for a concert. <laughs> Their members had gotten up, they'd moved the tables, they had chairs set up. Wow. They reacted. It was, you know, 10 minutes was fantastic the way they came together, and, and we were able to enjoy Mad River Railroad. And I think Mad River Railroad enjoyed playing for the, uh, the people who came out to see them in the rain. And uh, that's what a community is all about. It was fantastic. It really, we did make some lemonade out of our lemons, Clint. All right. Uh, Hotel California last night, always great in downtown Troy. Um, maybe some sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. We had a heck of a turnout last night, and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. They enjoyed playing here in Troy. All right. Uh, Farmer's Market, you've got that uh, still going on. As a matter of fact, that goes on through October 8th. We extended it this year, and so this is the height. I think everything is getting ripe right now. We have uh, this week our featured vendor is going to be Rosebud's Ranch and Garden. They specialize in fruit butters and organic spice blends. Fruit and, butters. Yeah, it's very interesting. Is that kind of like apple butter? Yes, they, they, and they do quite a business over there. It's, nice. You can't get that stuff just everywhere. Clint. No, and uh, you've got a musician playing over there this week. Colin Richards will be back. He's a very talented young man. He plays some folksy rock and some blues thrown in. You've got great crowds that turn out from that. Uh, not only have you extended the farmer's market until October 8th, uh, it used to end at noon, and now it goes to 1 in the afternoon. It'll go right out to 1 o'clock, so come early, come late, hope you're in your car now. And uh, yeah, fo uh, folks can also pick up. Do you still have any of the bags and t-shirts left? Absolutely, this has been very popular. We have uh, t-shirts with this year's, uh, I guess, design. It's been very popular, very, uh, and we also have bags to put your produce in. Like the burlap, them. the old burlap yeah, bags? Burlap, they're pretty cool. <laughs> you you just over and over again. Keep coming every week and fill them up with your vegetables and your specialty items. Great. Uh, now, you've got a movie also that is coming up along with the Troy Miami County Public Library. Yeah, on Zootopia, August 9th on Tuesday. Um, it's in the parking lot behind the, behind the library. It's a nice, safe environment, nice, quiet environment. That will go off as soon as it gets dark. We estimate about 9 o'clock. And this one is a, a little bit more speci special. Uh, Bextrum Orthodontics has been very generous. They're going to go ahead and set up some popcorn and water Ooh. and even snow cones for the, uh, the kids of all ages that show up to see Zootopia. Well, I'm glad you said kids of all ages because I'd be in on a snow cone. Hey, I'm going to be there. I like the popcorn. <laughs> I haven't seen Zootopia yet, so I'm looking forward to this. And uh, Air Force Band of Flight is coming to downtown Troy. It'll be right on Prouty Plaza on August 10th. That's uh, well, it's, it's quite an uh, orchestra. It, it's always a great show. It should be it should be do very well attended, too, weather permitting, and we're going to count on good weather. That is presented by the city of Troy. But and we also have a Troy Streets Alive left. Hey, this is the one that uh, the, the people really look forward to. This Streets Alive is going to be hot August night. This is one where we have hot music and hot artists out on the street, on the corners, 
the merchants and restaurants, of course, will be open late to accommodate all your needs. All right. That sounds great. And September 10th is the Taste of Troy. We look forward to that all year long. And hey, we're working hard on that right now. We want to make this the best ever. Last year, uh, Mother Nature gave us some more lemons, and we didn't do too well with, <laughs> with last year's. But, you know, it's, it's very dependent on the weather. On Absolutely. Yeah, you know, on September 10th from 4 to 11, we'll have local restaurants out with up to three tastes from every from, restaurant. From 11 to 4. Pardon me, yes, it's 11 to 4. <laughs> Um, that would be a late taste of Troy. What's that? Well, we're, we're working on that. Though. Maybe we'll have some announcement next week. Okay. Well, but we are going to have the, the beer and wine garden again this we year. We're going to have the beer and wine garden. Uh, we're going to hopefully move it a little bit this year to make it more accommodating for, for all the uh, people come out to eat and, and maybe have a taste of uh, beer or wine. And you've got entertainment that will be there as well. Yeah, I wanted to announce that. We have one more band, one more proper band. Funky G and the Groove Machine will be performing a taste of Troy. Now that sounds like probably a little bit of funk music. Oh, there's good, yeah, a little bit of funk music, a little bit of everything. They're a good time band. They've performed all over the place. Uh, one of the big places they perform is they perform uh, down at Reds games before the okay. game. Okay. Entertain uh, people of all ages. They're going to be have a good time. Sounds like a great time. September 10th, Taste of Troy from 11 to 4, and that's uh, we'll get that taste of all the fare of our local restaurants. That's the objective, Clinton. They get out there and they get themselves out on the street and we uh, get to have a good time downtown. All right. Hey, John, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Thank you, Clint. All right. This has been the Main Street Report with John Wilson. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TCTV.